Hey guys, welcome back to the channel where I've been getting loads of comments talking about a car in particular. It's this one here, the Mazda LM55 VGT Group 1. You've been telling me it's really good, it's really fast around Sardinia and it's going to do really good race times. We're going to put it to the test, we're going to compare it with our basic builds. These builds are all glitch free so there's no glitches in them at all and they're all power restrictor and ballast. We're going to try and keep it as simple as possible. Obviously you can go and make loads of different tunes, you can try and change the suspension, you can change all other parts to go even quicker, but I want to do a baseline test of all these cars with ballast and power restrictor just to hit the necessary requirements for this race. So we've done a few others, we're going to go and check this one out, I'm going to tell you what parts you need to get for this, um, what tyres you need, I'm going to tell you different strategies because there's different strategies you can run uh, to get very similar to lap times. Two different strategies that are going to be within two seconds of each other so just keep tuned and i will explain those ones for you we're also going to have a look at a bit more about the car um, and we're going to tell you how to find the track um, if you if you are new to this if you haven't done it before so i'm going to try and include all that in for you and we're also going to have a look at the tune but before we get into it if you're here and you like this content please go ahead and hit the like button subscribe to the channel because we're very 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 close to the 1500 mark and tell me in the comments what you think of this car and is there a car that you think is better than this for sardinia so if you're new to Gran Turismo 7 or you don't know where to buy the car, um, you need to pop over to Brand Central. If you do know, I do apologise, i just got to try and get this in for everyone else. Um, once you're there, go into Asia Pacific um, and pop into Mazda. Um, this is where the car's going to be located. And when you get into the showroom, there's actually two um, LM55 VGTs. Um, there's the Group 1, which is the one we need, uh, which is the one to the right. They do look very similar, uh, but this one has a slightly lower PP. Um, they both cost 1 million credit, but it is worth it, um, and it does add to your car collection as well. So once you've done that, you're going to need to pop into the tuning shop. It's down the bottom here. And once you get in there, there's a couple of, th well, three things that we're going to need to buy. From Club Sport, uh, we need to go down and buy the power restrictor for 800 credits. Um, if you're in a certain part of the world, it might be a different amount, so do bear with it. This is just the EMEA um, account, um, and you need to buy the ballast for 500. Once you've done that, you need to pop into racing, and you need to buy the racing hard tyres, because these tyres are mandatory. The car comes with the racing medians, but we just need to tone it down a bit, and um, that will help. So you can run the medians, but it'll be a slightly different tune. I just find that this is um, going to allow you to have a bit more power. Once you've done that, pop into your uh, garage, go into car settings, and then this is the tune that you're going to need. You're going to need to go and change your tyres and make sure they're set to the racing hards. Um, once you've done that, you're going to ch check your downforce, uh, downforce, and it's 10.35 at the front um, and 2,000 at the rear. Uh, your output adjustment, you're going to change that to 93. You're going to add 184 kilos of ballast. You're going to put it minus 20. Um, in the positioning and in the power restrictor down to 90. Uh, once you've done all of this, you're going to get a PP of 799.99, which is almost bang on the 800. Um, pretty good. Um, and if you don't know where this race is by now, um, or you're new to the game, you need to pop into World Circuits, go into Europe, um, and it's Sardinia Road Track. It's the World Touring Car 800 at the right. Um, this is the racing you need to do. Make sure nothing's flashing red because it means something's not quite right. But you should get this. Click OK, um, and you're going to be only able to use the racing hard tyres. Into the race itself, um, there's three different strategy options that you can use here. Uh, the first one, I normally I talk about going to fuel mix six um, and saving fuel. With this car, throw that out the window. That is not even an option. You need to go either into fuel mix one. Um, and do a little bit of fuel saving because you're going to get about seven laps or so. So you need to do some fuel saving. Um, or you're going to use option two, uh, which is fuel mix two. Um, depends on what you want to do. I preferred the fuel mix two. And the reason being is I didn't have to lift and coast as much. Um, it also means if you save a little bit of fuel um, because you're not using as much, when you get to your pit stop, you're also not going to be stationary for as long. So. It's a little bit of a win-win, but whatever you prefer, the, the lap times that I got uh, very similar, or uh, actually the overall race time very similar, um, and there was two seconds in it. Now that probably can actually be down to just a bad lap here or there, so these two are pretty much bang on the money. Uh, you will find here that um, the AIs, because we've actually gone for a lot more downforce, um, 
they do keep up with you on the straight so where you're going to make up your lap time in this car is actually in the corner so if you look around here um getting these corners pretty well you're going to get so much more traction going out of them on the straight lines a slightly different story but you will find that here the ais do fight a bit um, again difficulty is set to hard so you just want to have the hard difficulty because that allows the AI to just be a little bit quicker uh, than what you'd expect be careful here um, on the first lap because look these guys do like to swing around a little bit you just want to be a little bit more careful try and use as much of the track as you can and move over to the right hand side as you can see going into the towards the end of lap 4 we are starting to catch the leader and it's because we have set the difficulty to hard that if we set this to easy we would have been past them a long time ago but we would have lost lap time that's the key thing here our best lap time at the moment is a 36 3 um, and when you go into the last corner as they're about to pit you just need to be a bit careful try and stay towards the right hand side because at this point i nearly got clattered into so that's something just to bear in mind um they can um go into you uh, lap 8 towards the end of it we're going to go into the pits um, we've still got a little bit of fuel so we don't uh, didn't go completely empty but if you look at the tyres they are very good we don't need to change tyres and with the fuel um, just remember you've got this little dot here that's going to tell you where you need to fuel to and me again I've overfueled. I didn't need to but you're going to see in a little bit why it actually worked out I got a bit of fun out of it um, once you go out on track just be careful that there is no AI coming because they, they are, you are prone to getting um, an AI coming down the straight at you uh, looking at our lap times we've got a 34 2 um, it can be done quicker because you see the lap times there um, just weren't great but as you can see here I've got fuel mix one on for the last lap that's because I overfueled now you, you don't need to because that little white dot is going to tell you how much fuel you actually do need as we finish the race though you're going to see there's no time um, difference between us and the AI we've hit the fast lap of 34 0 and that is because we lapped the whole field every single one of them in this car uh, look at this the time is 24 minutes 36.5 um, with fuel mix one it was 38 seconds so it's two second difference we get the credits at the end and we get the clean race bonus which is um, exactly what we looked for in this video now this car um, is good like it is properly good that it drives really well um, and it grips this car through the corners when you're in clean air is absolutely fantastic but keep an eye to the channel do hit the like button and subscribe because what i will be doing in the next few weeks is i'm going to try and compile a list of all the lap times done in the cars that i'm doing video for and we're going to have like a time chart of who which car is quickest so let me know in the comments what you think i'll catch you in the next one and i'll see you soon see you later junkie out